Nengi caught zip down by Ozo in the toilet. Guys, I really don't want to believe what I heard. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky and if you've seen me for the very first time, hi, please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos without subscribing, please reconsider, please, please, please reconsider and hit on the red subscribe button, subscribing to my YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform me whenever I post a new video. And please, this is me also begging and giving a shout out to my personal channel, Vicky. And please guys, for those of you who love me, who fancies me who just want to support me who genuinely want to support me please head over to my personal channel vicky m the link is always in the description and in the comment section pinned in the comment section please go there and support your girl no be only i'm a boy i sabi do guys i sabi do other things too when you go to that channel you go see other things when they do i they do family videos i they do lifestyle i they do vlogs i they just people like talk about things that are happening if you want to know more of my personal life or if you want to know more about me please head over to my vicky m channel there you will know more about me please 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 now beg i they beg you guys at this very point oh grrr. guys Yes, this party was the bomb. Like DJ Switch killed it. Like he was giving it to us back to back, and we had no other choice but to join them in partying at home here. And I don't even want to bore you guys with the whole party. Just let me just go straight into the highlights of after the party. You know, see for Big Brother Ninja House. Now after the party, things they happen. We will now start hearing stories of what happened. So when they came out of the party room. In the party, you see that um, Kid Wire and Nengi, they were really grinding each other. And then when they came out of the party room, you see Erika warning Kid Wire about the action he did in the party room, which was when he used drink to pour on top of Dorothy's boobs and drink the drink from Dorothy's boobs, and she was not having it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. That, that's not the good idea. Don't try it again. Don't try it again. Don't try it again. And then after she spoke to Kid Wire about it, it was just as if it, it all poured on top of deaf ear. And then the next conversation we had was the reason behind the title of this video, where Ozo was asking, you know, normally they do not show us the toilet section, but we heard Ozo asking Nengi that why was she seen in such a position with Kid Wire with her zip down, that what were they doing? So Nengi tried to explain herself, telling Ozo that she was need, she needed somebody to help her zip herself. Came out. I don't think you, you, you didn't know I was paying, did you? I knew, I knew when you came in. I knew, you yeah, and you. I knew. I was there now, I knew. I saw you guys. Yeah. And it was actually still zipping when you guys came in. So if it was anything funny, I would probably have just walked. I don't know. But actually in the party, what happened, you will see Kid Wire and Nengi, they will have a, like Kid Wire saying something to Nengi's ear and then the next thing they left the party. So we actually don't know if it was a planned work or if it was a, like they planned to do what they did or something or it was just a coincidence. But Nengi was just trying to explain to, to us all that she went to pee or whatever she went to do at the bathroom and um, Kid Wire was the one there to help her actually zip her clothes up and then when they came back into the house after they came back into the house you see kid wire and nengi having a conversation you hear nengi was trying to talk to kid wire asking kid wire that why has he been avoiding her and then kid wire said that she, he has been avoiding her because sometimes he is bored of her mm -hmm. kid, i feel a certain way about you and i'm gonna tell you right now my hair I feel like sometimes you just distance yourself from me. And like I take you as my friend and like we were talking. Talk. So you got bored with I'm me. I'm bored with you. Everyone has a time, trust me. I'm I'm honest, I'm that kind of person. If I'm bored with you, I'll leave you and say I'm bored with this person. Oh, That's the truth. 
but that was not, not really the truth but she he just said that to nengi that i was avoiding you because you were you were boring me and you see also was there his eyes was focused on what they were doing even though he was also having a conversation with new talking about talking to new about the whole scenario because it was also a new that actually saw what happened in the bathroom and they were just analyzing it also was just talking about how much he he values trust in a relationship whether friendship whether relationship whatever it is but any relationship you have with someone trust is very very paramount you get and then moving on erica seeing the position that kid wire was with nengi in the kitchen she was not having it it actually did not sit well and to think that we actually thought that these people have broken up yes they broke up last night and they make up because erica cannot stay without cannot function without kid in that house that's just obvious you guys should not come for me but that is the truth because a lot of things that kid does in that house and erica maybe doesn't like it she doesn't know how to deal with it she ends up going back to him and kid knows so much that erica really 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 fancies him erica was really mad at kid that why will he be disrespecting her like that she just spoke to him about dorothy and now he is with nengi after we're good next minute we're not good when the fuck does start speech we normally actions. more fucking actions let's talk I'm tired of this shit. Same here. Okay, cool. So what's up? I mean, for real. I told you I agree with you. Yeah, so what happened? Talk. So what, it points it out what happened exactly. And then Kid was not having it. Like, Kid almost blew up on Erica. Like, that you're not, you don't understand me. You're always accusing me. You're always seeing um, things in negative way whenever I, I stand with a girl. You're not always thinking that why am I doing what I'm doing. All you think about is that I'm trying to flirt, that I'm this. And she was like, she is done, that she cannot continue like this. And I'm like, Erica, please rest. Rest. This is the same thing you guys did yesterday. And even though Kid is even obviously can move on, you cannot move on. Erica rest. She walked out on Kid. She went to the toilet. She went to the room. She lay down on her bed and she was crying. And then she also went to speak with um, Tolani Baj in the toilet. And Tolani Baj was just encouraging her, telling her that okay, let her take her bath. That when she comes out, they will talk about it. It's you. It's what you did something. It's not like random. It's not like I just saw it. Can't touch. I just know that you're calm. It's like I'm not going to take this kind of you can't. rubbish. Just. And then Kid also went to tell Dorothy. Kid even went to tell Dorothy that this whole issue about Erica and him is because she he drank a, a drink from her boobs and also he was talking to Nengi in the toilet. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, these people, these people will not kill somebody. To so think that, in fact, let me just put my own opinion in this thing. The whole Nengi and Kid Wire stuff, I don't want to say that they are having a thing, but I just feel like they have some sort of connection which always makes one suspicious because you will see um um kid wire telling uh, kid wire actually told erica that that is one of the reasons why he doesn't like talking to nengi because whenever he talks to nengi people always feel like they are having a team but it's just friendship and i'm just like god i don't know i don't understand the whole drama that has been going on if you guys understand because sometimes this time about one do can just make me not be able to go sabi people not tell me waiting and i don't understand by waiting it happen between kid wire and nengi and then why is Erica overreacting. The truth of the matter is that Erica cannot be with somebody like Kid Wire because Kid Wire is who he is and Erica is who she is. She's a very emotional person and the way she is, Eric, um, Kid Wire needs somebody that is very strong, has a very strong personality because you will always have a reason to cry over such a tears. You will always cry because he will always give you a reason to cry. That is because you are expecting too much or you're not trying to you've not gotten to a point where you accept him for who he is because sometimes there might be no intention attached to it but that's just basically the whole thing kid um, erica is still in a versace tears and nengi and also i don't know what's up with them if they have settled or not well that's just it and then erica on the other hand after talking and following kid up and down and they had a conversation she still just she 
because Kid Wire made it clear that he's not going to apologize to her. And I'm like, you are hurt by something a guy did to you. If you want him to apologize, you should, you should stand your ground for him to apologize. But I think um, Erica is not that strong to actually demand such from Kid because Kid was also standing his ground that he has done nothing wrong. That's who he is. He doesn't need to apologize for who he is. And then the next thing you see Erica sliding into Kid Wire's arms again and then they are back to where they are. So this Erica's whole drama, I don't know why she can she she doesn't seem to be able to function without kid wire like kid wire has her mood but in like she she's really really she's head over heel drunkenly crazily madly in love with kid wire and at this very point me i won't come on to their matter because it tire me it tire me it is very very stressful their love is a is a, is a draining one it is stressful on her part but she's not seeing it like that way so that's just what i came to give you guys on this video to tell you guys that kid wire and erica i don't know as kid wire and nengi i don't know what's up with them and then erica continues in her versace tears over kid wire i hope she gets sense by force so thank you so very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and please head over to my other channel vicky m and subscribe please support your girl now beg at the beg now support your girl get your girl to 1000 subscriber thank you so much and i'll most definitely see you guys in my next video